Good morning, students. Revision of uh, MySQL. Open MySQL. Okay, but yesterday I created one database result. Use database. Use result. And there is a one table. PT3. Yesterday we created this. Now structure of the table is. So here is a uh, table in which admission number, name, marks, UID, city, grade. These are the fields. And there are some fields with uh, where I have inserted the constraints on admission number primary key, on a name, not null, uh, name, marks, it is uh, less than equal to 100, in UID, unique key, and in city default. So now I am I'm going to insert a third query is in case I want to drop the table. So no, I, I'm not going to drop this table. I'm cre first creating one table, dummy table, and then I will delete that. Create table demo. I take a row number in teacher. Then uh, correct name. Correct attend. So my table is here. I can describe this table. So if you want to permanently delete the table, so अभी तक हमने जो D D D L queries की हैं, वो है आपके पास. D D L queries number one. Create table. We have already discussed. Then alter table okay uh, we can add more uh, some more fields or modify the fields or you can add constraint okay a primary key where i mean search for okay then drop table drop table is you to delete the data permanently so here i am using drop table demo and uh, then i describe demo the message is the table result dot demo does not exist so this is the third way to delete a uh, record uh, delete a particular table aditya clear better Man, we are clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So next is Now the next is, uh, in case you want to add primary key later on. So there is a one query that is alter table. So alter table, aapko koi bhi field ko add karne ke liye, field ko delete karne ke liye, ya field ko modify karne ke liye. Plus any constraint you can add later on. For example, I am going to create one table demo. In this table, 
I have not set as primary key. If I want to set primary key now, the query will be alter table, table is demo, add primary key and take the field RM. So, up to pass primary key add is right. So, if I describe the table now, so here is a primary key. Okay. In the same way, you can remove the primary key. Okay. So, you primary key to remove it as a field. Now next is how we can insert the data in a field. Now this, this is called D, DML queries, data manipulation actually. Insert into, okay? So how many the query will be insert into, then name of the table, so if you want to add the data in demo table, demo, then values in bracket first value comma second value bracket close semicolon and the number one thing the sequence and type nature of the data will be same as it is in the table so this sequence may have to pass table me data hai, fields hai, usi sequence of data insert karoge. numeric value without single or double quotes and uh, string value with single or double quotes. For example, I have one table that is 53. So if I want to insert the data here, insert into admission number values. First is a numeric value as it is. And then Uh, name is in a uh, is a string type. Then marks numeric nature. Then Aadhaar card is again uh, integer nature. Then city in string. and grade which is a string bracket close semicolon uh, here table name is pt3 so data is added if i want to display the data select Star means all the fields from PT3. So my data is here. Any doubt in this? Should there be any doubt? No, sir. Now, next is Uh, in case you want to skip any field or you want to change the order of entering the data, the way is insert into PTU, uh, PT3. In a bracket, give the name of the field in which you want to add the data. So I want to add the data in admission number. Then I want to insert the data in a 
uh, suppose UID, then great. Anyone also want to want to insert the data in the name? So these are only only four fields. So now you in values you will give the data according to these fields. So here is admission number one zero zero two name. And the uh, RAR card number, grade, bracket close, semicolon. I'm checking the problem. Uh, yes. Now, duplicate entry of uh, 1002 because that is already there. Select star from PT3. So two fields are there. So in I have inserted the data here. Jalandhar is automatically added due to the default value. In marks, I have not added the marks. That's why it is a null value. So any doubt in this? So there is a when uh, you want to skip any field or want to break the sequence, so you have command use karni hai insert ke saath, to aapne table ke saath fields name lene hai. Okay? For example, admission number and the name you want to add. And after that values, then you will have to give two values. So this is insert into command. Now next is if you want to modify the record, so there is one command that is called update. Okay, so update name demo set. These are the keywords. Okay, so here I am using suppose uh, I want to give the marks of mano. Update PT3 set marks equal to 78, where name, where admission number equal to 1002. Now, if I display the data, now marks is change okay so up to pass update command to so always use update command to modify the data okay so here set is a keyword to so set a keyword here okay. suppose now i want to increase the marks of gagan by two so gagan again marks already 67 now the mark means 69 karne hai. Yes, sabhi ke marks mein to se increase karne. Clear? Yeah? So the command will be update pt3 set marks is equal to marks plus two. Means two marks added in previous marks. Here no condition will be there because I want to add the marks of, um, I want to uh, add two uh in all the records so no need to give here any condition here marks updated now if i display the data here is in place of 67 marks is 69 in place of 78 marks is 80. so this is your update command so it is a dml command update group any doubt in this
No any response from your side? So next is third query. If I want to delete the record, there is delete from query. Suppose I want to delete the record number 1002. Delete from PT3 where if I am not setting any condition, all the record will be deleted, but table will remain as it is in the MySQL. Table rega, data deleted. Where admission number equal to 1002. So record is deleted. So third DML query is delete from first is insert into second one is update and next one is delete from now next is select query so select query is used to display the data on the screen for this i'm going to insert some more record in the demo table Second code I added. Third record I added, then record, fourth record I am going to add. So four chords I added, I display the data here. Now for displaying the data, query is select. If I use select admission number from PT3, it display only the admission number. If I am displaying also name, then select admission number comma name from PT3. And if I want to also display marks, then admission number, comma name, comma marks. So this is your select query. By default, the field name will remain as it is, like admission number, name, and marks. If you want to make give your own, it is called allies name. Aapne admission number ki jaga dena hai aapne as admission number okay now in place of admno there is admno okay this is called caption okay caption up change the subject table key field key by using a life name so any doubt in this Vanchika, any doubt? 
नो सर और अगर हमें सारी फील्ड डिस्प्ले करनी है तो यू विल यूज स्टार सिंबल ओके तो इन प्लेस ऑफ गिविंग डिफरेंट फील्ड आई एम जस्ट टाइपिंग स्टार फ्रॉम पीटी थ्री तो इट विल शो ऑल दील्ड नो नेक्स्ट इज I can also perform some calculations on the table, like uh, I want to show name of the student, marks, and then uh, suppose uh, marks into ten divided by hundred means ten percent of marks as. as तो बेटा जो आपके मार्क्स थे उसको उसका टेन परसेंट मीन सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन एट पॉइंट सेवन नाइन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव पॉइंट सेवन इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ पीटी थ्री दिस इज अ टेम्परेरी नेचर इट इज नॉट सेव इन योर फील्ड बेटा क्लियर तो दिस इज कैलकुलेशन एंड यू कैन डिस्प्ले एनी टाइप ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ह्योर एनी डाउट इन दिस ओके अरुषि नेक्स्ट इज नो यू कैन आल्सो मेक सम सेंटेंस लाइक सिलेक्ट सिलेक्ट नेम फॉर्म ये देखिए बेटा जस्ट लेके वन सेंटेंस गगन गॉट सिक्सटी नाइन मानव गॉट एट्टी सेवन प्रिंस गॉट नाइन्टी सेवन हनमन गॉट एट्टी सेवन तो जिस जस्ट लेके सेंटेंसेस नेक्स्ट इज नाउ इफ आई एम डिस्प्लेइंग द डाटा ऑन द स्क्रीन आई कैन सॉर्ट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू वन कंडीशन फॉर एग्जांपल Here I am using select star from P T three order by it is called clause order by clause by marks. So your marks descending order may display on uh, ascending order may display on it. Fifty seven then sixty nine then eighty seven then ninety seven. And in case you want to display it in a descending order, so use here. After marks D E S C. So this is order by clause. Next is in case you want to put any condition, there is where clause. Where marks you can use your relation operator greater than greater than equal to not equal to less than okay up ये operator use कर सकते हैं for example greater than eighty it will show all the record where marks is greater than eighty here you can also use the order by clause. Order by marks D E S C. ये देखिए बेटा. पहले ninety seven, then eighty seven. You can also use some relational. Uh, the, here is a relational operator. Some logical operators. ठीक है. For example, marks greater than 
if the and marks less than 95 the range for this you can also use between clause this ke liye aap between bhi laga sakte ho here marks between 80 and 95 same thing will be there see yeah, any doubt here no sir okay ab humne discuss kar liya between ab suppose humne yahan pe names display kar rahe hain students ke name to gagan mana prince harman so uh, suppose i want to display all the record where first character of the name is start with m then there is a one clause that is called where name like in single quote m then use percentage percentage means rest of characters you don't know so it is represent number of characters you, you are not aware about that i am one minute with i am just checking where name Oh, yes, here. Bear name like. So it is showing the name start with the M. Now, what is the name which is second character A? Ho. Then percentage A. Percentage A. And rest of the character, you are not aware about that. So, the name which is. Second character, yeah, koi bhi, kahin, kahin to be A hai. Thik hai? But in place of uh, if you are aware about number of characters here, so I, I want a name with the first character is M, second character is A, just to three characters I don't know. For this, you will have to use underscore. Underscore represents single character. Same same model. So these are called wild card. So we discuss here wild card. Now next is suppose I want to display the data of the student who are from Delhi or Agra. So, I will do this where city equal to Delhi or city equal to Agra. But in place of this, I can use where city in. In a bracket, give different uh, city names. So it will check and display whether city is Delhi or Agra. Okay. So here, we Delhi or Agra. We have a city. Dekhara. And if you are using not in. So it will not show the record of Delhi and Agra. The rest of records it will display. There is Hisar and Chalan. So this is your select query. Now next is suppose I want to 
uh, display the uh, all uh, here i want to use uh, one more clause that is called group by beta group by is used to divide the table into small parts but remember one thing there should be some field that provide us grouping so in this table uh, grouping is according to the c2 okay according to according to grade to aap chahte ki suppose ki kaun se grade ke kitne students hai so you will use select grade then count star so count star is a aggregate function that display number of records count star from pt three okay now group by grade see here in a1 total one grade uh, one student skewed a1 one student skewed a2 and two students c2 तो अगर आप यहाँ पे ग्रुप बाय नहीं करते तो आपके पास रॉन्ग आंसर आना था रीजन इज एग्रीगेट फंक्शन इट अस सिंगल वैल्यू ठीक है देयर इज अ डिफरेंट आंसर क्लियर तो ग्रेड इट विल पिक द ग्रेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड एंड टोटल रिकॉर्ड्स आर फोर दैट्स व्हाई काउंट्स आर फोर 